Hi, I'm Luana Rubin from eQuilter.com, and I'm here at the International Quilt Festival 2016 in Houston, Texas. There are always plenty of international quilts here, and this year there are even more countries who have submitted quilters and won awards. And right here behind me is one of the top quilts made by Marina and Maria from Brazil. Isn't it gorgeous? I've seen these quilts by this pair of quilters around the country, including in Mexico City, and it's great to see more of their work coming here to the States. You know, our fascination with international quilts, uh, keeping in mind that we are at an international quilt festival, can come from two different angles. We have so many beautiful international quilts that have come from other countries, but also there are a lot of U.S. quilters who are making quilts about other countries. And here is a great example by Mary. She has made this piece about the people of Tibet and about the, uh, the longing of those people for the Dalai Lama to return to that country. And her detail work is just so exquisite. Take a close look at the figures and the small stitching details here. This beautiful quilt comes from Japan. It's by Hiroko and it's entitled Lily. And I'm sure that you've seen Hiroko's other quilts of his golden retriever dogs. This beautiful and very heavily stitched quilt comes from Spain and is made by a friend of mine, Nervia, who's the editor and the owner of Art to Patchwork magazine. I actually got to see this quilt in a hotel room spread out on a bed while I was in Andalusia this July. And uh, it's about a young couple who fell in love and they were inspired by a flamenco song. This piece is called The Silence of Wars by Olga from Spain and it's inspired by her visit to the cemetery here in Houston when she visited a previous quilt festival. This gorgeous silk quilt is made by Italian quilter Laura and just take a very close look at the, the luster of the fibers and how it shines through. This was inspired by an Italian painting. This very special quilt is by Cindy Garcia. It's called Love Beareth All Things. And the international element of this is of course about a father who's going overseas on a tour of duty. Well, this is truly an international quilt. It's by Melissa from New Zealand. Look at her beautiful use of complementary colors with that glowing gold and then the rich purple and the shadows. But what's interesting about this is it was inspired by a photo uh, from another artist who lives in South Central Alberta. Well, as we conclude our very quick uh, tour of international quilts here at the International Quilt Festival, of course we have to stop and look at the beautiful Japanese quilts. And these two Hawaiian quilts were made by two Japanese quilters, both of them named Takako. And uh, I know from going to Hawaii for many years because of my in-laws that the Japanese just love anything Hawaiian. And I also know from going to the Tokyo Quilt Festival that there are they love the Hawaiian quilts. And what I love about Japanese Hawaiian quilts is the color sense is just so different. They have a completely different take on Hawaiian quilts. So thank you for joining me here again. Uh, if you'd like to see more photos, because I can't possibly put all of them in the videos, go to my photo page at flickr.com slash Luana Rubin and check out our fabrics also at eQuilter.com because we carry lots of international fabrics and Japanese fabrics and Hawaiian fabrics and hand dyes and batiks and well you guys who are our fans and customers you know how that goes. Anyway, thanks for joining us. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.